Okay, now that we've looked at the app component, it's time to make our own component. It's not much of a component tree when you have just one root component, right? We want to have more. So what I'm going to do is create a new component and have that be a child of the app component. The app component is currently empty. This is nothing here, right? So we'll fix that. So I'm going to go to the command prompt and kill the ng serve that's running over here and run a new command to create a new component. Well, there are a couple of ways in which you can create a component. You can create these files, you know, the component.css, component.html, component.ts, like what you see over here, right? Your new component is gonna be similar to what you're seeing over here with app. So you can create all those files yourself, or you might be guessing what I'm gonna say next, you can ask the Angular CLI to do it for you. Angular CLI is that utility which lets you do all this stuff. So I'm gonna to go to the command line, and I'm gonna take the help of Angular CLI to create that component. So the way to create a component using Angular CLI is to use the command ng generate component and then the name of the component. Let me create a hello world component for now. I'm gonna call this hello world. And uh, look what it does. It creates four files similar to what we've seen before, right? It has created this CSS, HTML, spec.ts, and the .ts. And it has also updated this file, app.module.ts. We'll see what that is in a little bit. For now, let's switch back to our editor. And uh, here you see there is a folder that was created under app. And here you have your HTML, your TypeScript, and your CSS. CSS is empty to begin with, but the HTML in TypeScript has some basic elements. The HTML has just a paragraph that says, hello world, works. This is what the Angular CLI does. When it creates a component, it's gonna create this paragraph over here which says your component name works. So if you see it in the browser, you know that it works. And your TypeScript file has some code which kind of looks similar to app.component.ts, but uh, let's examine those details in a little bit. For now, let's use this component. The Angular CLI has created this component and it's now ready to use. So how do I use it? The way to use this is by using the selector. Every component has the HTML tag, the HTML selector, which is going to render that component, which is going to instantiate that component. The way to get the selector is to look at the code in the .ts file there should be this thing called selector colon and then a string, which is the selector. Here, the selector is app dash hello dash world. This is a selector which is going to instantiate this component. I can use the selector in an HTML markup of a component and then it is going to call this as a child component. All right, so let me demonstrate what I mean by that. We know that app.component.html is what's rendering the view that we have seen here, right? There's nothing over here because there's nothing in app.component.html. Let's say I have a heading, hello, press save, and uh, I'm going to ng serve so that my changes get reflected. My browser, I refresh and I see the hello. If it's that green color that we added in the CSS, I should remember to remove that. Now here, is where I can use this hello world component by using this selector app dash hello dash world. How do I use that selector in my HTML? I use it just like any other HTML tag. I say less than the selector greater than, and then of course I close it. The editor did it automatically for me, but if not, you just have to type a slash and then the selector again. This is almost like you've created a new HTML tag, right? <clears throat> you've extended the HTML syntax. Not quite, but it acts as if you've extended it. And now this is going to create an instance of your Hello World component that you've just created. And it should ideally print Hello World Works on the browser. There you see, it has printed this out. So what you've done is created a component and used it in another component. This is the beginning of your component tree. Earlier, you just had one component, which was the app component. Now you've created a hello world component and used it in the app component, your component tree. You can 
use the hello world component multiple times and it is going to create that many instances. So let's say I use this again, press save. If I go to the browser, you see here, there is another instance of the hello world component that was created. It prints twice. I can do this multiple times. You see it gets rendered as many times, All right? So again, we are using the same HTML semantics. You have a concept of a tag that can be used anywhere and any number of times. And each time you use it, you're creating an instance of that component. And uh, since that component has all the logic it needs, it has the HTML, the JavaScript, and the CSS that's required to render it, as many times as you use the component, so many times it actually gets rendered. All right, so here we have a component tree where you have the app component at the top and you have multiple hello world components as children as re referenced by this HTML over here. All right, so now that we have a hello world component, let's create something that has some functionality. We were talking about a date slash time component. So let's actually create that in the next video.